Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a button to duplicate a record in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Tanya in St. Paul, Minnesota, one of my Platinum members. Tanya says, I need a button that can duplicate, copy an entire record into a new record. We need this to duplicate a product where almost everything is the same except a couple of fields which we can edit manually. Now, Tanya actually sent me this question two years ago, and I did a Tech Help video then. This is one of the first ones when I first started doing Tech Help. And then recently, I got another question from another Platinum member, Sarah, in Riverside, California, plus a few other people have asked me this too. Sarah says, is it possible to create a duplicate button like in your last video? However, only copy a couple of the fields to the new record. Most of the data will be different except for a couple of the fields. So I was going to do just an extended cut video of this and then tack it on to the old one, the old duplicate video. But I watched the old duplicate video from two years ago and the audio quality is kind of nasty. So I figured I would just re-record it. All right, so here we go. We're going to do that one again. And I'll save this for the extended cut today. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. If you want to grab a copy, you'll find a link in the description down below the video. Go click on that. You can grab a copy if you want to. But you can use any database you want for this. Here's my customer form. Let's say I want to duplicate the customer. All right, usually you'll use this for something like projects or products or whatever. You don't usually duplicate customers, but we're going to duplicate a customer. So right-click, go to Design View. Up here on the Form Design tab, you're going to drop this box down here. You're going to find this button right there. It says Button. It's called a Command Button. We're going to click on it, and then we're going to drop it down here somewhere on the form anywhere. We can move it around later. And this Command Button wizard starts up. Okay, you're going to go to Report Operations, Duplicate Record, hit Next. You want a little pretty picture on it, and you can browse to different pictures if you want to. Or put some text on there. I'll just put duplicate. We'll change it to duplicate customer. How's that sound? All right. And then next. And then give it a meaningful name like duplicate customer button. No spaces in your button names. And I like to end all my buttons in BTN. All right. And then finish. And now I got a duplicate customer button right there. Let's move it down to the bottom of the form. Though. Let's bring it down here. Let's click on it. And drag it right down there. All right. So I got a duplicate customer button. Sitting right there. I can't get it where I want it. Right there. Okay, perfect. Save it. Close it. Okay, open it up again. All right, I got Dennis Ross. Customer ID is one. Notice it's one of six. And I'm going to click on the duplicate customer button. Here we go. Click. And boom, look at that. I'm now on seven of seven. The next customer ID, eight. And this is a duplicate. Duplicate? It's a duplicate. <laughs> it's a duplicate of the previous record. And now you can come in here and make any changes that you want. And it's a different record. Okay, that's how you duplicate a record. It's all simple. It's all sweet. It's all in the wizard already for you. Now, some of you have emailed me saying that the wizards don't start up for you automatically. If you click on this button, right, you drop a button here, this wizard doesn't start up. Well, you can turn those wizards off accidentally. Lots of people do this. If you drop this down here, you'll see this little guy that says use control wizards. If that gets turned off, lots of people accidentally click on that guy, right? Now, if you take a button and drop it there, nothing happens. I get this email a lot, okay? So all you have to do is come back in here, click on this, turn on, use control wizards, and now they should work again, all right? Now, the next part, Sarah's question, we're going to cover in the extended cut of this video. All right, how do you make a button that copies the record, but only a couple of the fields, leaves most of them blank? It's a short video, about seven minutes long. We'll copy the record. We'll only copy specific fields. Teach you a little bit of VBA programming in there and that me keyword. All right, here's a record right here. James Kirk, right? Customer two. We're going to copy just the first name, last name, and the customer sense field. Ready? Duplicate, partial click. We'll get a little copy message there. It copies that, that, and that. And that's it. All right? A couple lines of code. Not too hard. It's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's lots of them. There's over 200 of them now. And gold members can download these databases. Oh, and I wanted to also mention, before I let you go, a lot of people have also emailed me asking if it's possible to copy a record with related sub-records. For example, an order with all of the line item order details. Yes, it's possible. 
Yes, it requires some sig significant programming. I do cover how to do that in my Access Developer Level 24 class. You'll find a link in the description down below. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.